If today was your last day Tomorrow was too late Could you say goodbye yesterday? Would you live each moment like your last? Leave old pictures in the past Donate Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Limits, back from the dead. Uh, no, I didn't die. I hmm, may have been unconscious for a while, but, uh, hmm, actually, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, this is another tutorial, um, brought to you by your truly Limits. Uh, I know this is my first tutorial in a while because of the lap, <coughs> my laptop change change of laptop as you can see this is a Windows 7 operating system which will be my new toy for uh, two years I plan to upgrade in another two years but um, now that I actually have my own personal laptop for the first time ever um, I can make tutorials and be more consistent in tutorial making and also complicated gameplay will definitely be a factor in videos again I know I've only released one, but Modern Warfare 2 is out, and things have changed. <clears throat> um, also, I have to set uh, up, oh, I don't know if I can get it sold, but I bought an Easy Cap, which I found out didn't work with uh, Windows 7 64 bit operating system because my Dazzle DVZ17 doesn't work with Windows 7 64 bit, so I, um, it's useless at the moment, and an Easy Cap which I'll have to sell and with the money I get with that save up some more and get a Dazzle DVC 100 which I am positive uh, is compatible with Windows 7 64 bit so I can record again and um, do some commentary gameplay <coughs> uh, yeah I think that's all the updates oh there is one more update but I'll just see if that's the end of the video uh, it's not to waste any more of the time alright so basically this tutorial is um, have you ever started up your computer on programs like Windows Live Messenger, LimeWire, uTorrent, uh, whatever. Uh, start up and you have to close them and it takes a lot of time and you don't get to use actual use out of your computer until you close the program. Um, which I know I used to do that a lot which was a pain. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to Basically, uh, I don't even know what to say. Um, basically, just make it so that those programs do not start up with your computer. <laughs> so you can get to uh, browsing right away. Or uh, get to using your computer right away. So this works with Vista, Windows 7, Windows XP, all versions. So just click on your start pad, start button, and open up run and type in no spaces msconfig and this is your system configuration uh, there's five tabs here you, you are interested in the startup tab and at the bottom after you uncheck a box uh, I'm not going to check it, uncheck anything but you uncheck something and click apply and then click ok uh, it will ask you to restart your computer uh, I suggest you restart it and one more thing be cautious when you're doing this do not uncheck anything important such as your antivirus software or anything that you don't know you, you're not you don't actually know what it does uh, do not uncheck those make sure you're unchecking programs that start up with your computer <coughs> with your <coughs> yeah, well, with your computer like Windows Live Messenger or whatever you have you know any program can start up randomly uh, uncheck that it should be here if it starts up with your computer um, once you uncheck it and restart your computer it will be added to the uncheck list which is just at the bottom uh, all these unchecked I have Nero, Windows Live Messenger, Steam, uTorrent, LimeWire and ULead Studio Video Studio all of those used to pop up and used to be really annoying and yeah I just uncheck those now I start up my computer and I'm flying. I just start up and I'm away. I can just but uh, no programs to close. It's a lot easier. Um yeah that's basically it. I think my voice may have been slightly quiet in this video so I may have to turn it up in Sony Vegas because I'm sitting a little bit further back from my laptop. 
So if my voice sounds staticky or fuzzy or weird, sorry for that. I may have to buy a computer mic as this mic isn't the best quality. Um, if it can be improved, I'll work on that. But for now, it'll just have to stay the way it is. Uh, I'm also thinking of doing this sort of little series. Uh, in every video, I'll ask a question, and I'm going to call them Life's Random Mysteries. Um, basically, things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, everyday life as human beings, and it's random. We, it's kind of funny, actually. Uh, let me think of one. Just uh... oh, okay. Uh, here's one. Why is it that you push the buttons on the remote control harder when the batteries are almost finished or dead? I thought about this one for a while and uh, I really don't know and hopefully you guys can shed some light on it. Um, at the end of every video I'll have one of these random questions about anything um, that normally most people don't know the answer to and it's kind of funny and weird. Uh, yeah, that's really everything. Uh, thanks for watching, rate, comment and subscribe. Um, yeah, thanks for taking the time to watch this video.